thing we will talk about the critical objective of the three objectives of CEO Club Box. So the first is the recommendations by the CEOs for the policy makers on investment and export and to it. And that's the reason diplomats and CEOs get together. This is called a C to C approach. CEOs to CEOs. I was just in Baku. I was in this last month. I, I traveled 10 countries, especially the World Economic Forum. Uh, our honorable, uh, one of the guests of honor, Mr. Tariq Malik, sir, you were at the World Economic Forum, sir. You gave the presentation of Pakistan's Nadra case study to the world community and the CEOs over there. And it was really well appreciated over there, sir, uh, Tariq sir. So these were the, the, the things the CEOs are showcasing the success of Pakistan outside, despite all the, uh, the difficult and stressful time. Second, uh, the part of the CEO club is, uh, apart from the policy development, this is the leadership development. And this is the unique feature of the CEO club. It is not just a think tank on papers and the, uh, uh, in the philosophy, but it is an institute, just like our lungs. CEO Club has developed more than 500 billion rupees per rupees uh, institute exclusively dedicated for the C-level and CEOs of Pakistan for their capacity building to rub their shoulder with the global CEOs of the, of the world. So this is the second uh, the philosophy of the leadership development of the CEOs. We bring the top faculty and that is the second uh, my request to all the diplomats and especially the people who have their best executive CEOs institute either in Singapore, either in Indonesia, either in the Malaysia, either in the, uh, the Europe, the European countries. So we will bring the people the, to come to Pakistan to develop the CEOs and either they go to abroad uh, the top institutes uh, just like our, just like Cambridge, just like Oxford, just for the capacity building because Pakistan is a gold mine of human resources despite all the challenges. This is the second target. The third one, the last one, the publication just you see the books the book is not simple just a glorification of the CEOs it is a, these are the case studies of the CEOs and the companies to just to share with you the best management and leadership practices practiced by the CEOs and the company's leaders and one important part of the books and publication top 100 this book is part is a part and parts of the top 20 universities in Pakistan just lungs just Punjab University just fast just nursed because these new generation, they study their own indigenous localized case studies of Pakistani companies and CEOs. That is the making the difference. Rather than talking uh, and talking and talking, just we put on the critical success factor. Okay, how these people, 1000 CEOs, 10 books, Alhamdulillah, for 10 editions, the last 10 years, we captured, we penned down, and more than 100 countries and the libraries will find these books. And this is the the, the, the book diplomacy uh, of the, the Pakistani CEOs and to, to the globe because when we see the media we always see the negativity they always talk about the politics they never talk about the positivity of the Pakistani entrepreneurs and the Pakistani CEOs so this is the compendium of the knowledge of the CEOs of the Pakistan so these were the last thing and the, and, and the not least uh, the our six chapter of the CEO clubs Alhamdulillah we are now launching the CEO club at the World Economic Forum Tariq sir, Ikram Sehgal sir, just two days back, he called me just next time CEO club should have an exclusive pavilion at the World Economic Forum. There was Indian state of the South Indian, everybody. Inshallah, this time we will be there just representing uh, Pakistani CEOs across the globe. And the task, we are launching this book. This is CEO summit in Saudi Arabia, in Middle East, in Europe, and especially in the U uh, USA and the Canada. So these are the, the, the this is the vision how we capture the diaspora of Pakistani overseas CEOs. What are their unsung because I call them overseas CEOs, the unsung heroes of Pakistan. These are the people who are running the country, running the show. So with these words. Sir, these are the, uh, the, the things I was sharing with you guys regarding the Pakistani CEOs and I hope once again my note of thanks uh, for Zaisa, for the, the, the people, especially the diplomats who are here, for the business leaders who are here for just joining this uh, and last not least whenever I my personal invitation to you guys, to you guys just whenever you visit to Lahore please do visit the institute of the CEO, the first Pakistan CEO Academy. Where, where you, this is my request because almost 
20 sir uh, his excellencies ambassador they visited german ambassador the australian ambassador the british high commission they visited they talked with the ceos because they are the people ceo to ceos because uh, they are the people who are the movers and the shakers of the business of Pakistan rather than political people. Pakistan is not a poor country. Pakistan is a poorly managed country, unfortunately. <laughs> this is the only this is the only issue. It's not a poor country. And the last the, the, the last philosophy of the CEO club is we are developing the job providers, not the job seekers. This is the mindset. We can create wealth through creating the jobs providers who can provide jobs, who can well create the wealth. And these years, His Excellencies and Specialists, I said, these are the people who are the wealth creators. We need 10 people who can, 1 billion, we can just, and in special technology and innovation, there's a big scope. We can pay off all the debts, 100 billion, just 100 CEOs, they can pay off the, all the debt of this country. Then we are very much optimistic. And once again, sir, Zaisa, please, just few words, uh, clothing words uh, from your side to say thanks to the participants.